If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can use the Write Checks window to quickly write checks and then apply the amount to one or more accounts. If the payment you are making doesn't involve invoices or inventory items, then this is simply the easiest payment method to use. To write a check in Sage 50 Accounting in the Write Checks window, select Tasks, Write Checks from the menu bar. The Write Checks window lets you pay non-invoice bills or write checks to vendors that don't have vendor IDs. It is basically a simplified version of the Payments window that lets you enter check information without having to enter line item distributions. Enter the vendor ID of the vendor being paid into the vendor ID field. If you are paying a vendor without an ID, then leave this field blank and type the name of the vendor into the Pay to the Order of field. You can enter the address information for the vendor if they aren't in your vendor's list under the Pay to the Order of field. If printing this check, then leave the check number field blank. Otherwise, fill in the check number of the check that you wrote to the vendor. Enter the date the check was created in the date field. Then enter the amount of the check into the dollars field. Select the account number from which the check will draw its funds from the cash account field. Enter the account to which you will attribute the payment from the expense account field. If needed, to attribute the total amount to multiple accounts, click the Split button to open the Split Transaction window. In this window, you can split the total value of the check between multiple accounts. You can then click OK in this window to return to the check. You can enter a memo for the check into the Memo field. To save the check when you are finished creating it, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window. To print the check, click the Print button in the toolbar to open the Print Forms Disbursement Checks dialog box. Then enter the first check number to print into the First Check Number field. To select a different check form to use, click the Select Form button to open another dialog box where you can select the check form to use and then click the OK button. If needed, you can select what to replace the item ID with from the Replace Item ID with dropdown. To then print the check, click the Print button within the dialog box. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www dot teachyoucomp dot com